Amnesty International was started in 1961 yeah. by a barrister at law, mm. Peter Benison, and it was in response to the sort of um, clampdown on people expressing freedom of expression mm. um, in Global. many of the so-called socialist states of Europe at mm. that point in mm. time. And it's always this misconstruction of um, intentions of people. Mm. Um, almost like if you are not for us, you are against us kind of stance mm. that tends to get us into this issue. We seem to be, when I say we, I mean generally as a people. Mm. If um, someone has an opposing or a dissenting view, we mm. tend to take it personal. Mm. Like, then that means this person mm. hates me. Mm. But that's not the point. It's just in, an opposing in, in view. In this case, you mean the government. The government and the authorities the authorities but even one-on-one mm. -on -one with many people you find that oftentimes when you have a dissenting voice people mm. think perhaps you don't like them you're not in their camp not even the party nigerian so so which nigerians hold on like, mr. You, mr. no i don't you, mr. no i don't you, mr. no because they've never seen anything good in what the, the, this government is doing in fighting, you know, terrorism in most cases. Terrorism. Yes, most cases they have they, they, been working against the fight against the government. Eh. Take, yes, that is the position. Mm. So at any given point in time, everybody, an average Nigerian, rational Nigerian, will always see that the Amnesty International Who is, is an, an, an anti-government. When the uh, when Amnesty International uh, criticised the Obasanjo government for uh, levelling Odi, they were not anti-APC then. When they criticised the Yaradwa government for the uh, uh, killing of uh, Mohammed Yusuf, the leader of Boko Haram, they were not anti-APC then. Uh, and when they've uh, in the past bought into the narrative of the APC, when they were the opposition party at the national level. Um, that Nigerian soldiers were committing uh, human rights abuses against Boko Haram uh, fighters. They were not anti-APC then, but suddenly, now that the APC is in government, um, Amnesty International rightly calling out the APC government for all sorts of, all manners of human rights abuses, which are pretty obvious to uh, many Nigerians. Whatever it is that APC says right now, I take with a huge tin of salt, no, a bathtub full of salt. Post Buhari, something interesting happened after Babangida seized power and uh, detained Buhari. And Amnesty <laughs> called for the release of Buhari at the time under Babangida's government. I mean, Buhari always makes reference that he was arrested and detained, but does not say that Amnesty and other organizations called for for his release i mean do you think not acknowledging those kind of things affects the way some buhari supporters perceive amnesty i think it's because they don't know the history and um when it's not acknowledged they don't know so it's like this opportunity we have now to say go back and look at amnesty reports it's all available online now so um many of our reports and records have been digitalized so you can read for yourself so the records are there and these were records that were produced when many of those who are now clamoring and accusing amnesty of being biased mm. um were not there so the records that speak for themselves we didn't create them those of us that are here now didn't create those records in the 1980s mm. and it goes to how the organization serves its purpose the impartiality the independence If an avenue is created whereby people can share ideas, mm. share what they are thinking, mm. what 
they would like to see mm. and instead of people being boxed into mm. um, a corner mm. then perhaps a lot of the dis a lot of the disagreements we have mm. could be averted